a showdown in Vashri as Unbeaten's Destrahan and St. James face off. Plus, would Terrebonne or Hanville begin district play with a win? And a pair of Catholic League teams square off at Tad Gormley as Brother Martin faces Jesuit. From Channel 4, this is 4th Down Friday, presented by your Southern Quality Ford dealers. Let's start with a quality matchup at Pan Am tonight. Defending 2A state champion, fourth ranked Amy, playing up the class, facing De La Salle. Third quarter, Warriors quarterback Kerry Butler Jr. goes deep and hits Bryceland Sims, and Amy is in business later on the drive. It's Adrian Davis taking it from nine yards out. Warriors enjoying a 12-7 lead. Let's move to the fourth quarter now. Cavaliers go to work. Quarterback Cole Milford sets up the screen for Montreal Johnson. Good move, patiently waiting for those blockers to set something up, and he finds daylight. Cavaliers would get another score in the fourth, and they go on to a 22-19 victory over the Warriors. And we're off and running week four of the prep football season in the metro area. Some teams beginning district play tonight, while others are trying to get those final tune-ups in before jumping into league play. What up? Welcome to 4th Down Friday. I'm Ricardo Lacombe. Two undefeated state-ranked teams getting a good test against one another this evening in our game of the week. Destrahan ranked 7th in Class 5A at 3-0. St. James ranked 2nd in Class 3A, also 3-0. Something had to give tonight in Vashery. That's where we find Andrew Doak live with more on tonight's showdown of unbeatens. Hey, Andrew. And Ricardo, let me tell you, tonight was a wild one in Vashery. The best way I could describe it was it felt like I was watching a game on Pac-12 after dark. St. James controlled this game for much of the contest. They were once up 21 points with nine minutes remaining, but that's when they put themselves in serious danger of an epic collapse. <laughs> James hosting Destrahan tonight, trying to show they belong playing with the big boys and former LSU Tiger and St. James High alumnus Corey Webster out for this matchup and opening drive for St. James after a three and out from Destrahan, St. James QB Shamar Smith with this 51 yard burner to put St. James up seven to nothing. Players saying 5A who on the sideline, they would give Smith the touchdown chain and they're up by seven following drive. Smith was carrying the load. Look at this cut. Find the man some new ankles from Destrahan. Smith would dive in, and it's 14-0 St. James. Next possession, Destrahan needing something, and Quincy Brown delivers this 60-yard hookup. He's got power five offers from everywhere, and he sets up the one-yard sneak for a touchdown from Demarius Jackson. Now it's 14-7 St. James. <laughs> Destrahan would knock through a 32-yard field goal before the half to cut the deficit to four, but St. James controlling the lead 14-10 at halftime. Jump to the second half, and St. James was up 14 points, and this was what we thought was the final nail in the coffin. Ja'Cory Esther picks it off, and he's going the other way, 90 yards to the house for St. James. On top, now 31-10. But Destrahan would make a comeback bid with under two minutes to go. Destrahan back to Quincy Brown. This snag for the score from 11 yards out makes it a one score game, 31-24 St. James. Next possession, St. James turns it over with just over a minute, but on fourth and 11, the last try for Destrahan to continue the drive, they go back to Brown and it's incomplete. St. James holds on to win 31-24. Man, my, my throat got dry. Oh my goodness, my throat, <laughs> my throat got dry. Um, you know, we knew they weren't gonna go down easily, and um, we just were resilient. And um, that's a great ball club, and that's a program I like to model. So you know, to be able, to, you know, pull that off, that's 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 awesome. And man, look, Quincy Brown was a beast tonight. He had receptions of 60 yards, 25, 41, and 35, plus a touchdown. He was sniffing almost 200 yards receiving. But look, at the end of the day, St. James picks up their third straight win against a Class 5A team. From Vashery, Andrew Doak, 4th Down Friday. All right, Andrew, what a big win for St. James as they knock off Destrahan. Over at Yulman Stadium, a must-watch battle of QBs in Country Days, Justin Ivieta and Newman's Arch Manning. The Cajun and Greenies no longer district foes, but the rivalry still there. Game tied at 7 in the second. Ivieta throws the slant to a wide-open Daniel Conwell from five yards out. The extra point would be blocked, but the Cajuns retake the lead 13-7. Manning and the Greenies answer. Check out this touchdown. The freshman rolls out. Jamarna Sutherland, the intended target, but it gets deflected into the hands of 
of Pike Philibert. Right spot, right time. Newman ahead 14-13 at the break. They go up 11 in the third quarter. IBN is trying to bring back Country Day, but this throw is high and gets picked off by Jermone Sutherland playing safety. You play both ways at this level if you're a great athlete, and he is. He returns this back into uh, Country Day territory near the end of the third quarter, and then in the fourth, they turn the turnover into points. Joseph Pleasant takes a hand up, bursts through the middle for 16 in the touch. Three touchdown, uh, rushing touchdowns on the evening, 179 yards rushing. Newman beats Country Day 38-13. John Aaron and Wes Jefferson in their district 8-5A opener this evening at Haas Memphis. Opening quarter, first and goal for the Patriots. Damon Leonard right up the gut for six. Patriots out to a 7-0 lead. Later, Aaron backed up on its own goal line. Buccaneers bringing the heat. Rodney Williams with the takedown. That's a safety for Wes Jeff. It's now a 7-2 game. Bucks on the move now. But this pass, after the pressure gets picked off one-handed by Andrew Jones, great awareness there. That Eric defense stout in this one. They get, this gets taken back into West Jeff territory, and they capitalize off the turnover. Theodore Galloway drops the dime to Brandon James for the touchdown. Eric goes up 15-2 on the botched PAT, turned into a two-point conversion. Eric wins this one, 17-2 the final. Coming up, we'll turn our attention to the Catholic League as Brother Martin battles Jesuit and Holy Cross heads to the West Bank to take on Shaw. But first, some scores from around the metro area.